What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to our Madden 20 Connected Franchise Mode Episode 60 here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for today's big 2024 doubleheader. We have Week 14 at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. Week 15 against divisional rival Atlanta Falcons. And this week here we pretty much can put it to bed. Um, we're 10-2. and two. We got four game lead. We don't play the Saints. If the Saints or Panthers really slip up. I mean, there's like, literally there's four games left, and we have to like win at least one of these four games, and we will secure the NFC South. We have a quarterback that's playing as hot as any in the National Football League in Derek Carr. First in passing yards, second in passing touchdowns. We have an emerging rushing attack, fringe top 10 numbers for Trey Sanders. We know what Tony Pollard can do at the backfield. Mike Evans, second in yards, first in touchdowns. I think we also have Chris Godwin, who's like third or fourth in yards. Uh, it's it's just a prolific offense. John Gruden in an incredibly short turnaround. And only year two with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after getting let go after winning the Super Bowl for the LA Raiders. Now Las Vegas Raiders, whatever you want to call them. He has made this Tampa Bay Bucks team into a legitimate playoff contender. I think eliminating all doubt that no coach is better, no coach is more important, no coach is more proven than John Gruden. So we have a big game here. Kansas City Chiefs aren't playing particularly well, but they have, you know, the guys that we know that they have. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. They have Justin Flo, the five-star recruit linebacker out of Oregon. Um, Tyreek's down to a superstar. They got Jair Alexander. Like, they got a lot of playmakers on both sides of the ball, and if we don't bring it, if this is going to be a lackadaisical Derek Carr that just throws the ball up every other time, trying to feed it into Mike Evans, they're going to, you know, especially when you look and Jair Alexander, if he shadows Mike Evans, we're going to get punished. There's going to be interceptions coming our way. So we need to make sure we execute. We need to make sure we get this dub. We secure the division. And then we just keep on keeping on. Get home field. Get first round by. So on and so forth. But it starts here against the 82 overall Kansas City Chiefs. Car Mahomes. They used to go at it when it was the Raiders and the Chiefs. Now it's the Bucks and the Chiefs. The teams have changed. The players have remained the same. I feel like we're going to be very, very good here today. I feel like we're going to drop 30. I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay, honey badger. Oh, let's go Chris Godwin. Let's go Chris Godwin. That's a big time grab. Taking us into Kansas City Chief territory. Oh, let's go 20p. Oh, he's so fast. Tony Pollard. Comes in relief duty from Trey Sanders. He might be our running back too, but he's good enough to be a running back one on half the teams in the NFL. So quick. And Honey Badger got the sack. Looked stupid. Trying to reach for the ankles there. Of, you, know, you know, there's a certain thing. Sometimes you go get a massage from a, from a shady massage parlor and they tell you to grab your ankles. You know? And that's, that's pretty much what Tyron Matthew did there. He grabbed his ankles. Looks like an idiot. We got Big Mike. We got we got a PI because 30 couldn't handle Big Mike and just tackled him to the ground. Oh, ho, 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 wooden second sack of the game. Let's go. Oh, my God. What is it? This O-line. Did Patrick Mahomes not get them a good enough Christmas gift? They are not protecting him. There we go, Big Mike. Finally, Mike Evans gets open. I think that's Bryce Hall. The corner out of young corner out of Virginia. If you're paying attention to the 2020 NFL Draft, that's not a that's not a good matchup. Mike Evans is gonna eat all day long. We gotta keep going to him, especially in the second half. I got almost rinse and repeat. Tony Pollard is on one today, averaging over 10 yards a tote, putting the Bucks in the red zone late in the first half. Okay, we gotta try to get him to buy on the play action. Initially, doesn't look like they do it, but cross the middle. Chris Godwin gets open. It's just like that. The Bucks up 17 to 3. Starting to pull away here. Oh, okay. Broken play. We're gonna take off, fumble it into the end zone, and Sanders recovers it for a touchdown. Yeah, just like we drew it up. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big 
Big trust on Big Mike. All right, all out blitz. Patrick Mahomes, he's in the red. I mean, this game's pretty much over. He takes the QB keeper because they are just coverage sack after coverage sack. Full kudos to our secondary. Uh, we've, we've eliminated Tyree Kill. Oh, my God, we got this. Isaiah Simmons coming off the edge. That is, hell yeah. One hell of a performance from this defense so far. Because Tyree Kill has been non-existent. He's been absolutely non-existent. They're, ooh. I thought they were going to wave the white flag and just kick the field goal because this game is over. But they're going to try. I mean, when you got Mahomes, it makes sense to try. But what I'm going to say is just give me another sack or a pick or a blatant drop there from 81. Jalen Waddle, talented wide receiver, formerly of Alabama Crimson Tide. Game over. OJ Howard bringing the juice. We'll run the score. It's over. Give me my, give me my, give me my win. Just give me the win. Give me what I want. Average time. Come on, run the score up. What we do? Run the score up. Oh, we got a, oh, we just gave him a sack. Kobe Dean comes through, gets a sack, but still 38 to 17. John Gruden and the Kansas City Chiefs. Two teams that, you know, I, I would say since we've done this franchise, John Gruden going up against Kansas City Chiefs, we have controlled them. I, I think maybe it's been one or two times dating back to the Raiders that Mahomes really went off. I think it's been one of the teams Sean Gruden has absolutely dominated since we've been here in this Madden 20 franchise but through 60 episodes. So very impressive performance. 38 to 17. Pretty much secured in the playoffs. Now it's four, you know, it's automatic. Derek Carr, very efficient. Three touchdowns, no interceptions, 243 yards, 150 and a tutty for Sanders, 57 and a tutty for Tony Pollard. Uh, Godwin at 89 yards and a touchdown. 68 a tutty for Mike Evans, OJ Howard, six catches leading the team, 43 yards and a touchdown defensively. We got a bunch of TFLs, two sacks from Brian Wooden, sack from Vita Vea, got an interception from Dax Hill late. It's just, this team is just too powerful, man. You can't stop it, brother. And I will get the Atlanta Falcons up next. They ain't shit. Oh my, do the Falcons even want to play today? All right, so we got a third and six in the red zone. I like going to the right-hand side of the field because Tony Pollard's right there, and he's so damn quick. Oh, give him the touch. Got to give him the touchdown there. There's the goal out of the one. All right, let's see if we can give this to Tony Pollard. He deserves that touchdown, be it receiving or rushing, and he is going to get beat up trying to get across that goal line. Maybe we'll bring in the power back to Ray Sanders here. Looking for a touchdown, I think 12 or 13 on the season. An absolute animal. One hell of a one-two punch. The best one-two punch I've ever had in a Madden franchise. Wow, couldn't have had a worse play. Pat Frymouth wide open in the end zone. Ties this one up at seven. Oh, come on. Let's go, Tony Pollard. Oh my god, I can never get a kickoff return for a touchdown, but huge. Man, Tony Pollard's going to have like 2,000 all-purpose yards this season. Oh my god, no one wants to tackle him. Second touchdown of the quarter. Tutty 13 on the year, Trey Sanders. And there's your hat trick. Oh my god. It's like, what, our fourth rushing touchdown of the first half? I mean, we're breaking records. We're going to go try to break records here today. Oh, and there's touchdown number four on the game for Trey Sanders. Dude, he's a, he's a Derrick Henry clone. That's exactly what Trey Sanders is. Alabama just producing Derrick Henry clones. And the next one just so happened to be Trey Sanders. Okay. All rookie run defense here from the Atlanta Falcons today. That's six rushing touchdowns for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, yeah, yeah! God, he's a monster! And that ends one of the most dominant rushing attack games I've ever had. Derek Carr, 86% completion percentage, 300 yards. Didn't need a touchdown. Baby Derek Henry has been born. 
214 yards, four touchdowns for Trey Sanders. Tony Pollard did what he does best, dude. Just come in, change a pace. But my God, Trey Sanders, 6, 225. You know, obviously, Derek Hedges went 6'4, 230. But, man, that's exactly what we needed. Baby Derek Henry. Uh, defensively, played very well. Two sacks after D. Jennings, two for Jeffrey Simmons, two for Brian Wooden. Uh, got after the quarterback, made his life a living nightmare, going 2 0 in the episode. And we've done that more often than not this year because our team is ridiculously stacked. And coming off that 48 to 20 victory, we're 12 and 2 on the season. The general manager wants to congratulate us, unnamed general manager. We got home field advantage, plus 20 more out of the whole squad, whatever really. That means we pretty much negated Stefan Gilmore in that final game, plus 500 XP for all receivers. It's looking good, baby. It is looking good as we get ready for the home stretch. I mean, we have been incredibly healthy. Like, I thought that whole time with Trey Sanders that, uh, man, there's actually not a lot of injuries going on. Like, I thought that whole time with Trey Sanders, I just kept getting flashbacks of. Josh Jacobs getting just rattled almost every time he felt like he went over 20 carries. He was on the brink of getting hurt. And we've, we've had a couple injuries on the O-line, but we have yet to miss. You know, I'm not going to go into more depth. I don't want to jinx it. But we haven't really missed any of our big-time players. I think Isaiah Simmons, probably the linebacker, missed a game or two. That's been it. So, I mean, we're sitting here pretty, man. 12-2, and two, healthy. I'm honestly, at this point... I mean, you look at our stats. We probably I'm a I'm a I'm a stat powder at at heart for my franchise modes, but I might we might we might go Martino the youngster to close out the year. I, I don't know because we need an MVP for Derek Carr. Maybe we'll play Derek Carr against the Saints and then we'll give and rest our starters for that final week. Maybe that's what we'll do to see if we can get uh, a couple more numbers. But I mean, Trey Sanders, unbelievable. Look at Tony Pollard. It's almost 700 yards, eight touchdowns there. And you know, you figure he's probably gonna start. He's probably gonna get a start to end the season. He, but he, he might have a chance to get at least double-digit touchdowns. Receiving 2,000-yard receivers back-to-back -back years since we've been here. Godwin and Mike Evans have been great. O.J. Howard's going to probably get double-digit touchdowns. Um, Tony Pollard, another 580 yards. So what's Tony Pollard sitting at? 1,100, and then you throw in 2,100. Tony Pollard's sitting at around 2,200 all-purpose yards this year, which is insane, which in its own right. Um, you'll get tackled. Like I said, we have had some injuries. Uh, Isaiah Simmons missed a lot of time this year, but even that, uh, everyone else around him's kind of stepped up. Evan White still being a tackling machine. Double-digit sacks for Brian Wooden, the rookie of Stanford. Double-digit sacks for Afrin Jennings, that really, really late free agency signing. Vita Vey is really dominant. Murphy Bunting, I think, still leads the NFL in interceptions. He was there. Uh, he's tied with John Johnson. So I mean, top to bottom. We are getting unreal production from our squad. And uh, we're going to actually probably quick turnaround. Maybe even tomorrow I'll drop the finale because like, literally it doesn't really matter. We're pretty much going to go through the motions. Just staying healthy is the top priority. But I guess maybe trying to see if we can get Derek Henry P and just stuff like that could come into play. But uh, that'll do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit, when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping I send the game like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too clever Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent